So I've been doing my channel for about four months now. What have I learned? Stick around and you're gonna find out. He's an aircraft fan, it's your boy Gilmaster G. You already know what it is. So after the four months that I've been doing my channel, there's a few things that I've managed to figure out and a few things that I need to work on. The first thing is time. It's difficult to continue to do your channel whilst you're struggling to keep up with your home life and you've got interruptions with family and stuff like that. So the first thing for me is trying to find a time that makes it quite difficult. Um, on top of that, search engine optimization. It's critical if you want to be getting found on searches and stuff like that. So a lot of people um, will use things like um, Google Trendings and VidIQ and these can give you an idea of what the popular topics are at the minute. So for instance, um, a lot of the Warhammer things that I'll do, um, I will use VidIQ um, to search keywords and you can find out how popular certain keywords are. That can help with exposure, but then the thing is if someone else has done a similar video and they've got more um, analytics for positive statistics, so uh, click to watch ratio or um, there's more watch duration, then they'll suggest those over your videos. And this can be quite detrimental to obviously trying to progress your channel. So what you need to do is you need to try and find things that haven't got so much um, competition, but they've still got quite a lot of searches and inquiries. Um, Google Trending can help you with trying to find the actual trends, but um, you need vidIQ and things like that to actually give you an idea of how many people are in competition with you with the certain things. Um, the next major thing for me is trying not to get depressed. So um, it's hard to feel relevant when your views are dropping massively and you've done nothing to, to actually cause these drops. So I try and produce the best content that I can and edit them as well as I can. But then with the time restraints and things like that, it can make it very difficult. But still on top of the, uh, on top of the search engine optimization and time and everything else, I still manage to get quite a few positive responses even though the view times have dropped. The, the main thing is to try and continue to progress without letting that affect you too much. Um, it, it's difficult to find the mentality to be comfortable to talk in front of the camera at times, but it's something that um, I wouldn't say you need to pressure yourself into, but it's sometimes you just need to take a deep breath and just go for it. Um, the, the best thing with vlogging is to be honest, and if you can let your guard down and just explain how you feel truly, people then connect to that, uh, that emotional state and they can relate truly to who you are and how you feel. Um, hopefully this can help other people with their vlogs and it can help you progress your channel if this is what you're looking for. If you found this useful, please like, subscribe and comment because it really does make a difference. I want to say thank you to everyone for all of the support and all of the help. Uh, shout out to my boy Ghosty, thank you very much, you've been a solid member of the community, craft fan. Anyway, um, thank you very much once again and I hope you have a good day. Peace.